Pronto Mechanic in this video we're going to show you how to troubleshoot the uh, parking brake in off issue. So let's take a look at this. Uh, we have the Mechanic scanner here and we're going to use this to troubleshoot that problem. So what you want to do is uh, once you turn on the Mechanic scanner you're going to go ahead and select the make and the model. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can scroll here or you can just do VIN, automatic read. And then uh, here we need to select one of these from the VIN is saying it's one of these uh, makes. And then we're gonna press left since this is a left um, hand steering vehicle. And then here we wanna go to, uh, so basically it picked up the correct make, model, uh, and year. You can see here S400 hybrid. Now you can do a quick scan, but quick scan is gonna go through all the control modules that are on this vehicle, this car has or 40 different control units as we can see here we can select the control units on their own these are actually subfolders and they have the control units inside them they're just uh, grouped in different categories as you can see here as you can see um, there's a lot of control units on this vehicle but in order to troubleshoot the electronic parking brake issue you go to chassis and then go to electronic parking brake and press OK. And then here, what we want to do is first let's read some codes. And then we have all these different fault codes in here. But um, a lot of them are stored. So these stored codes, um, what you could do is you can, a lot of times you can clear them means there's an issue that was in the past but well, we are concerned any codes that say current and if you see down here at the bottom it says stored and current so check component s76 slash 15 electric electric parking brake switch so that would be the switch right here so if you press this we don't hear anything we don't hear any operation of the parking brake so let's just verify that because a lot of times what can also go wrong is underneath the vehicle where the um, elect electric uh, wires go and then there's the cables that connect to the um, uh, basically the parking brake in the back there where you have the rotors and the actuator for the parking brake those wires or the actuator can fail so let's verify to see if it's really the um, the switch or if it's the motor so what we're going to do is we're going to use the scanner the computer is telling us that the the switch over here is not working so let's say let's now operate the parking brakes using the scanner and let's skip the switch so if we can operate the parking brake and we can engage it with the scanner now we're confirming that the switch is defective if we cannot operate it with the scanner we might have an electrical issue or a faulty actuator down there so down here if we press 3 we'll operate the parking brake if we press 4 we'll release the parking brake so I'll press 3 and let's listen for that parking brake and then it says active and on the cluster instrument cluster the parking brake uh, light is has come on indicating that parking brakes are engaged and I'm going to press 4 on the scanner to release it and you can see the park parking brakes did disengage so basically this confirms that the switch right here is the issue and it seems like the wiring that goes to the parking actuators um, to the wheels or rear wheels they seem to be in, operating properly just at the switch which is what the code over here told us but um, with the active test or this bidirectional testing over here, we can uh, actually confirm that. And um, that's it. Thank you for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.